Hey guys, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and the Retro Arena. I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about this new handheld that I've got, the Pocket Go S30. The reason why I'm talking about this is because before receiving it, I had done um, a lot of research into some YouTube videos, stuff like that, and a lot of people were complaining about this device being quite lackluster, just because it doesn't have enough consoles or systems and it's, you know. So... I went ahead and started working on this device, and it did honestly only have 28 systems when I got it. But uh, what's this? So here, Final Burn Neo, Mame 2003, Mame 2010, Neo Geo, Nintendo, Famicom, Nintendo CD or MSU One, and it does work. Let me show you here. You'll hear the audio difference for those of you that know the game well. You'll be able to tell right away. So there's MSU1. Oops, wrong button. Oh, maybe not. So Teleview. Virtual Boy, we all know that one. Game & Watch. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, Master System, Genesis, Sega CD, Sega 32X, Dreamcast, but just let's be realistic about Dreamcast. There's a few games that you can play, but you're not playing the whole library by any means. Probably not even half the library. Just a few games will work okay right now. We are working on it, and we are working on N64 as well, but it's not available yet. Certain games like, say, Mario 64 and stuff like that are actually very playable. They don't really lag. Turbo graphics, you got your PSP. Again, PSP is the same deal. Some games work, some games do not. Don't get your hopes, you know, for everything. Just some. And then we got... I'm going to stop saying the names of the systems. You guys know what they are. I'm just going to kind of scroll through them. And... We get to what I've added now. This this was already here, the stuff I've shown you so far. That's what you was originally on this device. And now we're going to see what I've added over the last couple days. So there's MSX, Coleco. And yes, this works. I'm going to show this off because I'm proud of this one. I will try to do some Nintendo DS with this. I haven't gotten that far into that yet, so I can't uh, <clears throat> make any promises for how that one's going to roll out. Also, currently, I've removed Atari 5200, despite the fact that it does work, simply because we don't have the RetroArch GUI yet. We're working on that. But Atari 800 and 5200 require you to use that menu or the configuration file and jump back and forth between systems and BIOS. On a configuration file level, it's not that straightforward for the end user to do, so I've decided to temporarily take it out until it's fixed. Um, Amiga and Amiga CD are here. <laughs> I'm assuming you know what system this is without me having to say anything. Yes, Amstrad CPC is here. I managed to get Intellivision going. Sharp X1, VIC-20. 2048 the port, Easy RPG the port. You need to remember to look up and down just to press the triangle button. If you don't do that, you're just going to move down only and never up. And it took me like three minutes to figure that out. So yeah, you got Quake here.
That's Rick Dangerous. Outrun is working, Dinothar is working, and the shutdown button has been added. For those of you that are curious, um, there's an issue where when you turn it off using the power button, it corrupts your saves sometimes. So this has been made. Um, dude does another YouTube and uh, who I've been talking to on Discord. His name is uh, Onion. Uh, you guys will know him as something different, but I'm just going to call him Onion for the sake of this. And um, he and somebody else made this and shared it with me. What you do is instead of clicking the power button, you just come here and press A. It turns your console off for you. And uh, you won't corrupt your save files. So right now, when I got this device, it had 28 different emulators. Right now it's sitting at 61 emulators and cores, and I know that there's still a few more things that I can add. I'm trying to shoot for 70, 75 as my goal. But uh, yeah, we'll be there probably in a few days. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.